What's up guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Website Wednesdays. This is episode 59. My name is Mary. I'm the social media manager at Outside the Box and this is Gauche. Today we're going to be drinking the Dalmore and just be just be doing. We're just going to do a recap of 2017. Just be doing. I'm so tired right now. We're all tired. It's the holidays. While she uh, struggles to open the bottle, which is now becoming a regular occurrence on the show, uh, I will talk about the producer's tasting. It's the aroma, uh, it's orange. Uh, there's some orange and dark plums, chocolate and marzipan. Uh, taste citrus, Christmas cake, coffee and cinnamon. Festive. Yep. Uh, and of course, the finish um, is orange, uh, vanilla, plums, and cinnamon. And I'm a big fan of uh, citrus flavor, so that should mm. kind of be good for my palate. And uh, she's a fan of Christmas cakes. Are you calling me fat or festive? Uh, festive. Okay. Good call. Also, thank you to uh, Change Connect. Oh, That's yeah, Change thank you. Connect for sending this. Uh, check out their website below. Uh, great uh, company. You guys should check out the services and what kind of consulting they do, can do for you. And uh, who knows? might be the next big thing because of them. Smells very citrusy. This is the 12 year yeah. one. Um, I have heard good things about this, but I actually surprisingly have not ever tried it. Me either. I can smell the orange, god damn. That's why I'm so tired. Oh. That splash of water opens up the uh, notes really well, but let's try it neat. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. The can fuck. So I was having a candy cane earlier, I won't lie, and oh, that's kind of cinnamon. fucked up my uh, palate a bit right now, because my, yeah, I'm a little fucked up there, so I can taste how this would taste good, but at the end, the finish tastes off, but I'm pretty sure it's the candy cane uh, screwing with my palate. If anyone has ginger. I definitely get the cinnamon. Mm. Cinnamon's in there. So overall, though, I do like this whiskey. Uh, it's a great taste. It is a very clean... Um, so it's actually really smooth and uh, sweet. I would uh, definitely try this again. I've heard good things about this anyway. So. so right now we're gonna do a recap of the most notable things that happened in 2017. Some of these things will probably have an impact on uh, things in 2018, yeah. marketing, uh, just business, tech, anything like that. So we have a whole list. We're gonna run through it, give our opinions on them, and then that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, we'll try to keep take it easy uh, for the rest of the year. Yes, we are visibly tired, uh, but hey, it's Christmas, motherfuckers. I'm so tired. Okay. Um, so Amazon uh, buying Whole Foods. That was a big thing. That was a big thing. Big. Yeah, it's also giving grocery stores a lot of things to think about. Uh, they are going to have to compete on a different level, especially online. Amazon might change the game completely. So mm -hmm. we still don't know fully what they're planning on doing. There have been a little kind of leaks in their ideas, but they might maybe save and if not re uh, revamp the whole, whole Whole Foods chain and in essence, the whole industry. Snapchat IPOing, it was up 44% on its first day, and right now it's trading at $15. So it took a pretty big downturn yeah. as of late, but um, it has been operating yeah. at a loss. It's been sh it's been shown for operating at a loss for a bit now, but uh, yeah, that IPO was a little gauged carefully, but public opinion kind of spiked it at the beginning. I know Gauche is really was really excited about this, but Disney buying 21st Century Fox for 52, actually over 52 yeah, billion dollars. 2.4 yeah. billion. Yeah. Okay, I will say two things. One, yes, super excited, because <laughs> uh, Marvel now owns X Men, Fantastic Four, a bunch of other things. Than, uh, I just, I just love the fact that Fantastic Four and X Men are back, as well as Deadpool, which gives the opportunity for Deadpool to show up in everything for even like two seconds, which is great. Um, the one thing that I am concerned about Disney buying that is um, it, they are slowly taking over a lot of uh, companies right now, and that could monopolize the theater or movie industry, yeah. and that can lead to kind of unforeseen circumstances, or I guess foreseen now, uh, that they could cannot kind of monopolize and control where the movies go, what kind of movies come out, and what we kind of see. So mm -hmm. there is a danger in that. However, I'm hoping they don't, you know, become evil empire and they be, don't become the Thanos of the movie industry. But uh, yeah. Now that I know who Thanos is, my God. Gauche clearly is more of the Marvel and comic book fan than I am. So. I am you saw our Marvel uh, video, you'll know what we're talking about. The next thing is the Apple's iPhone X release or iPhone 10 release, which I succumbed to and she has it. No. I needed it though. Yeah, she needed yeah, yeah. She needed I, the phone. I need a new phone. She needed like a seventh, seventh phone. Um, <laughs> it is interesting. Uh, That's and a pretty they're cool good features. At, I mean, 
listen, Apple's, if you're a marketer, Apple is the pinnacle. They yep. are the best at marketing. I'll give them that. They are absolutely amazing. Net neutrality. This one's been huge over the past like month or cu couple months actually. Yeah. Um, kind of exploded after the vote happened. Yep. Yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, America screwed themselves. Yeah. And the FCC, uh, a bunch of grandparents that actually can't use a computer uh, and don't know how to use the internet and have to ask how to close that window, um, are the ones making this decision to change uh, how the internet works. But sure, sure. Tell us how you really feel. Uh, thank God for Canada. Uh, <laughs> thank God we're in Canada. At least. But we also have Twitter increasing their limit to 280 characters, which is pretty big. I mean, like, I always find I'm struggling for characters anyways and like what I'm trying to say, even adding a link too towards some of our hip house events and everything, it just gets so uh, yeah. hard to do. So huge, huge step for um, Twitter. Facebook implementing stories. They also impl implemented uh, messengers and chatbots and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see a lot more of that in 2018 as yeah. well. How do you find the usage of chatbots? Do you think they're useful? I think they're useful for automation, but it also, like as a business owner, it'll mm -hmm. help the automation process in the customer service journey, mm -hmm. but then it'll also leave you more time for paying attention to other parts of your business, which I think is huge for a business owner. Mm -hmm. As a consumer, don't really care too much for it. I would yeah. prefer just not having those messages at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's just me. Instagram rolling out paid partnership tags. This is huge because a lot of people were concerned about the uh, brand and content they were seeing from celebrities, influencers, and stuff like that. A lot of people weren't disclosing that they were paid advertisements and that caused a huge shit storm over the past year. So oh. now everyone has to disclose that. And do you find that everyone's actually still actually disclosing it though? If you don't, you get penalized. Oh, but like, what way? More so, more so you can now because it'll show your, your name or username and then right under, underneath it says pay partnership with mm. whatever. So there's more restrictions on disclosing. Uh, LinkedIn launching video capabilities and lead generation form, forms on ads. This is huge as well because LinkedIn is actually like secretly rising to be a pretty big uh, player in mm -hmm. the social media game. It's risen to 500 million users, I believe. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Pretty crazy. The crazy hype over Bitcoin. We were just talking about this, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Bitcoin is uh, it's at it's something above twenty thousand Canadian right now. I think it's twenty four or twenty five. I haven't kept up anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I honestly do remember at when it was at four hundred, thinking about investing. Of course, hindsight twenty twenty. But at, even at, even now, there are things to consider. Cryptocurrency is going to be a major player in the future. However, I think Bitcoin's value right now has kind of been pushed by public perception. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of people jumping to something that they don't even understand the value of. Cryptocurrency yeah. has a place, there is a value to it. Its value is not 20,000. But because of public perception and everyone running to become make a quick buck, it's been going up, which kind of shows a lot of, not a lot, but some characteristics of a bubble, which is what causes a little concern because this could go the other way and really hurt people as well. There is a lot of skepticism. About yeah, it. and again, like there could some of the skepticism is pushed by like the old money or like you know the old heads that maybe not don't want to uh, kind of cave in or don't don't want that to actually become the future because that might make them obsolete. So I do accept that argument. However. If someone can cite only two articles and no financial background and able to argue this, like you would want to be skeptical of that person as well because hey, let's be honest, like that's like uh, a layman talking about medicine because they read WebMD once. Right, so the next few things we got fidget spinners, we got the hashtag okay. Me Too movement. Yeah, that, that keeps taking down more and more, more people. people. The Carolina Panthers uh, owner is actually uh, about to sell because of uh, things that were said against him. Oh damn. Yeah. Micro influencers, the influencer marketing is on the rise, so be sure to watch out for that in 2018. Uh, the increased use of chatbots, we already talked about that. More VR and AR, uh, we're seeing that with like iPhone X, for example, they're increasing all of their, their capabilities. More and better video content, so we saw a lot more videos on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and everything. But we're gonna see a lot more on social media, on your blogs. People are gonna be like producing video content. Now that I spent the entire year doing it, it's become like this for me. So um, get on videos if you haven't already. There's some great stock videos that you can utilize as well for your marketing campaigns. Definitely get on video because that's where things are headed, as well as audio. So we want to talk about podcasts as well. Podcasting yeah. is huge, something that we want to try and get into as well. Uh, live video streaming was huge as well. Yeah. So we saw a lot more Facebook Lives. Um, 
Facebook Live videos were pushed to the pretty much top of your newsfeed mm -hmm. a lot more than regular organic <coughs> content. Ransomware. Yeah, ransomware was a big thing, I think, around March, April uh, of this year. Uh, and it, it's going to be, it's going to have its waves. It's going to keep coming back. It's not something that you can kind of really escape and really preventing it's really hard. Uh, but there are solutions out there that you can uh, go with. One major solution that um, I've actually come in contact with uh, the uh, managed solutions by Valentech. They're actually a great backup a solution program. It's, yeah. it's not going to prevent your ransomware, rather it'll protect your information where you're not being taken for ransom. All right, guys, that was a very comprehensive list. We like barely touched the surface of yeah. everything that happened in 2017. There's a lot more to come in 2018, a lot more trends that we're looking at and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll definitely share those uh, insights with you as we go along. Uh, verdict on the whiskey? Uh, the whiskey is great. Um, yeah, I like the whiskey. I would definitely try it again. I'm going to add a little splash faster. of water and see how that uh, works out. Also, um, yeah, I'm considering like cutting down the beard and growing it out again to see the process on screen. So let me know, guys, if I should do it or not. Are you taking those YouTube comments to heart? Yeah, it hurts. Really? Uh, no, I, I just everyone, want. To... Everyone called me annoying as hell, so. Yeah, no, it's okay. I just want. I don't know if I want to go full Christmas uh, Santa Claus beard or if I go back to my shorter one and then grow it out again. Would you like dye it white just for Christmas? I don't know. Never. Do they, they have the spray on, like. Fine. All right. I'll consider it. You, you know what? The next episode, I might. Spray away. It'll be the 27th. Yeah, it'll be between. It'll be like I'm still drunk from Christmas. Okay, cool. Two well, days drunk. Like, two day hangover. We're drinking. We're day drinking. Cheers, guys. All right. We hope you guys have a great and productive day. Be sure to email us at thinkitoutsidethebox.com for any of your marketing inquiries. This is Gauche. I'm Mira. We're at.